Inspector, you had two sterling performances on the night of the Dimash Gras. You had uh, Out of Control the first tune. That song is the first time in your history of singing ever heard you tackle a calypso with such vocal range. This is a new for Inspector. Yes, um, I try to work more on the competition. Like if you realize sometime over the years I deal with the party songs a lot. But if you really notice, the party songs cannot help you 100% in competition. So I try to look at what the judge is really looking for and I do some work at it. I do my homework. That is why you find a different or a changes the night. Because I do things to please the judges or what competition is all about. When you, that song, when you were visualizing it for competition, when you had to sing that song, um, you knew it was something new you're venturing into in your repertoire. Um, did you have any inhibitions as to whether or not your voice would fail you on the night of competition? No, um, yes, out of control, the, the key was a little too high for me. If you notice the record, sometimes I make some high note. So I decided to drop the key. I think the key was F, so I bring it down to J and uh, do some homework to make sure that everything will be okay. That is why I did not have a problem on the night because I work at it. But I know to myself if I did not, I would have had a problem, but I do my work. Then letting go, you mashed down Queen's Park that night. When you came on stage and you were getting such tumultuous responses from the crowd, in the process of performing, were you a bit concerned of whether or not with all the hoopla coming from the crowd, whether or not that was taken away a little from the actual performance and the concentration maybe? of the judges just speculating well we have um, a correction here is i feel the pain and out of control yeah yeah, I'm, yeah. I, yeah i feel the pain yeah. and out of control so the first song was yes. i feel the pain yeah. and the mm -hmm. second song was mm -hmm. out of control mm -hmm. well um as you know always a, a crowd pleaser i always get good crowd response so i know i would have get a strong crowd response in that because the lyrics was okay is what the people wanted to hear plus the performance and inspector myself so I try to stay away from the crowd a little when I say stay away like although I know the crowd response go be there but I try to not to get carried away with the crowd with all the noise they're making I try to keep straight on my singing because if you're judging me and you see I get crowd response and then you see I start bawling or get carried away. At least he will take out points for that. So with all the response, I try to focus on my singing itself. Because at the night, you got to sing, as they say, if you want to win. Specky, um, the night of performance, uh, the, the standard of the competition, I mean, you place 50 years. Maybe you're not satisfied with that positioning. But when you look back at the, uh, at the actual crowd responses from the, that the Calypsonians caught that night, how do you analyze the standard of the competition? The standard of the competition is very high. As you know, this year was like a kings of kings. And you know, everybody going out there to do the best. So um, the response don't really surprise me. I was quite surprised with some of the mistakes the night with some of the Calypsonians. Because I was saying to myself, I know it could be a fight, and like artists go try to put out the best. But I know the night, maybe a little nervousness, or maybe some people get carried away, or I don't really know what to say, but the standard was high, you know. So I was quite satisfied. Inspector, as it applies to what you're thinking right now, I mean, the competition is over, all of that excitement is now gone, and so the process of Calypso goes on and inspector has to go on so what are you looking forward to right now well to um do shows like out of grenada because the season down here i need to go and promote myself the music and also promote grenada um between now and christmas i maybe have about 12 shows booked up that's before I came to Grenada for Carnival, so I don't know when I go back I might get more phone calls. So like the season down here, but it now start for me. So the progress is there, like after hitting England, Canada, the St. Croix, the regular place as usual. We saw the night of the Marsh Grove, the Calypsonians opening the show, everybody coming out together and joining high hands in a unified manner. Your thoughts on that? Well, that was very nice because um, the people, the fans, create a lot of problems. The fans try to 
put Calypsonian against one another, although everybody big enough to control themselves and don't let the fans control them. And some people have the belief that among the Calypsonian is war. Well, um, I don't have no problem with anybody, but I don't know about the others. So we try to come out to show the people with all the back and all, with all the ups and downs, all of us traveling after Carnival. We're going to Canada, we're going to England and do shows. We might be sleeping in the same room, same guest house, you know? So we try to show the people with all the DC and she say and with all the back and all, is one love, one unity, one people, one struggle, one Grenada music. So I just see the sense, the cussing and the fighting. So I think the idea was very good. And I would like to thank the Calypso Association and the CDC for that. Specky, let me say thank you very much for being on Culture Share. It was a pleasure having you. One love, and uh, well, you know, Culture Share is here for you and the rest of the guys. So you keep on doing what you're doing. All right, thank you very much for having me. And to you, Gentle Ben, and the crew, I like to say keep up the good works. One day, one day, we shall be at the top. Where there is a will, there is a way. Thank you.